Williams. I am Ali Ubaba Barrow. Good evening, I'm Muji Makonjola. President Umaru Musa er Adwa has endorsed the withdrawal of immunity for himself and the vice president, state governors and their deputies, as well as all others that enjoyed constitutional immunity against criminal actions while in office. He said he will support the withdrawal of such immunity when the National Assembly commenced the constitutional review process. President Eradua made this known in Davos, Switzerland at an interactive session organized by the Partnering Against Corruption Initiative, PERSI, as part of the World Economic Forum meeting. Mohammed Labbo has the details. <laughs> Partnering Against Corruption is one of the many initiatives that evolved from the World Economic Forum meetings. It's an initiative for private and government companies that voluntarily subscribe to its credo of zero tolerance for corruption and bribery in business. There are only two Nigerian companies that have subscribed to the initiative. President Er Adua at the interactive dinner lent support to the initiative, saying that corruption not only dehumanizes, as only few benefit from it, while the majority of the people feel its negative effects. Zeroing in on Nigeria, the president said until about five years ago, corruption had become so endemic that it was becoming a new civilization, taking deep root in all spheres of life. But things have now changed, he said, as Nigerians are unanimously against it and support all measures to eradicate it. Government on its side has established various bodies through legislation to fight corruption, but that the immunity some persons enjoy worry him. It is a raging issue, and I have confidence that the next constitutional amendment for the, this has been entrenched in the 1999 constitution, that the next constitutional amendment will strip these public officials of this, uh, <coughs> this immunity, and I am personally in support of that. And contrary to beliefs in some quarters, the president said he has strengthened the country's anti-corruption bodies like the EFCC, ICPC, and the Code of Conduct Bureau by granting them total independence of action, but only insisting that everything they do must be within the provisions of the laws establishing them and the Constitution. He also said government is working to make corruption less appealing. So one of the measures we are going to take already apart from the work anti-corruption agencies are doing, is to help corruption monitors. This is an instrument that will create, will help people train. Monitors attached to public officials. We are going to begin first with the president, the vice president, <coughs> the ministers in the cabinet, the state governors, so that these monitors will be trained in the art of investigation. They will, will, they will have access by law to the asset declaration forms. They will have access by law <coughs> to the accounts. They will have access by law to the spouses' accounts and so on. So that public, highly placed public officials will be monitored. Their assets, properties also will be monitored follow what they are doing in terms of acquiring of illegal wealth while in office. Now, this is an extreme measure, but the situation in Nigeria actually demands this. The other uh, aspect <coughs> that we are going to introduce is that <coughs> all violations and disrespect for due process would be sanctioned and prosecuted. The president said it's a challenge the current generation of leaders face to fight and eradicate corruption for the good of the nation and mankind. From Davos in Switzerland, I am Mohammed Lapo.